Question 6 from Section 2 of the 2018 Higher Physics Examination. An experiment is set up to demonstrate a simple particle accelerator. Electrons are accelerated from rest between the cathode and the anode by a potential difference of 1.6 kilovolts. Show that the work done in accelerating an electron from rest is 2.6 times 10 to minus 16 joules. So right away we go towards our equation sheets and we know that the work done in moving a charge W, uh, which is a charge Q, through a potential difference V is work equals QV. So all we have to do is find what the charge of the electron is. In that case you would go to your uh, data sheet and you would see that the charge on the electron is going to be equal to 1.6 times 10 to minus 19 coulombs. So we know the charge on your electron, so we can put that in. So the work done is going to be equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, multiplied by the potential difference, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power 3, because it's kilovolts, and that will be the work done on this electron. Do that in your calculator, and you should get an answer 2.6 times 10 to the minus 16 joules. Question 6, part 2. Calculate the speed of the electron as it reaches the anode. Well, the important fact to note here is that the work done on the electron by the electric field will result in the electron gaining kinetic energy. So if the work done on the electron is 2.6 times 10 to minus 16 joules, that will be the value of the kinetic energy once it reaches the anode. So all we have to do is set that 2.6 times 10 to the minus 16 joules equal to the kinetic energy. But before we do so, let's do a wee bit of, kind of work out in this one. And if we write down the equation, the kinetic energy, Ek, is going to be equal to 1 half, the mass of the electron, times its speed squared. Now we can do a bit of rearranging for that. We can say that's 2 Ek, and that will be equal to mv squared. Divide by m and we get 2ek all over m equals v squared. And therefore, that's going to give us that v is going to be equal to the square root of double the kinetic energy the electron gains divided by the mass of the electron itself. Now we know that the kinetic energy is just equal to the work done, so we can uh, put in the numbers into the equation and get our answer. So the speed of the electron V is going to be equal to its square root of twice the kinetic energy, so that's going to be 2 times, and the kinetic energy is really the work done on the electron, 2 times 2.6 times 10 to minus 16, put a little bracket around that one, and we divide that by the mass of the electron, and to check that out we have to go to our data card again, and the mass of the electron is equal to 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. So it will be divided by 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. And remember, it's the square root of all that answer. Now, if you take your time and do that in your calculator, you should get an answer 2.389 uh, multiplied by 10 times 10 to the power 7 metres per second. And you know that's reasonably okay because it's not the electron's not travelling at the speed of light or anywhere near it, therefore we don't have to worry about any relativity involved. So the speed of that electron as it reaches the, the anode will be 2.389 times 10 to the power 7 metres per second. Question 6, part B. As the electrons travel through the vacuum towards the fluorescent screen, they spread out. In the path of the electrons, there's a metal cross which is connected to the positive terminal of the supply. The electrons that hit the cross are stopped by the metal. The electrons that get past the metal cross hit the fluorescent screen at the far side of the tube. When the electrons hit the fluorescent screen, the screen glows. And you can see the shadow of the metal cross and you can see the glowing fluorescent screen round about it. Now, if the potential difference between the anode and cathode is now increased to 2.2 kilovolts, what changes will be observed on the screen? Well, if you increase the potential difference, you're going to increase the work done on the electron. So increase uh, the work done work 
on the electron work done on the electrons. Now, that will result in an increase of the kinetic energy. That will result in an increase in the kinetic energy of the electrons. Increase in EK, which will imply an increase in speed. So, you're going to get an increase in speed, it's going to carry more energy, so when the electrons hit the, pass by the metal cross and hit the fluorescent, you'll get a bigger glow, a kind of larger glow when that happens because the electrons have having more energy. So you'll get a larger glow. You could write that one down and justify it as above. Now the other possibility, or the other thing that happens, is that the actual metal cross, the shadow of the metal cross, becomes much sharper. And that's simply because of the reason, because you've got a much higher potential difference, you're going to get a higher potential difference between anode and cathode, the anode will become more positive. Anode will become more positive. Which means it will attract more of the electrons. And if it attracts more of the electrons, then what's going to happen is that the shadow uh, becomes sharper. The shadow edges become sharper. Because more electrons are then being attracted to the, uh, to the metal anode uh, of the cross. The best way to actually see this one is to actually see the experiment live. If you go onto YouTube, there's a link where you can go and find out. Uh, all you have to look up for is the Maltese Cross Experiment, and you can get further information on that one. But that would be sufficient to gain you your two marks.